are back again in Paris today. This is day two, and today we're going to be taking you on a tour of Montmartre. I don't know how to say Montmartre. it. Forgive me. Uh, yeah, we're not native French speakers, so do forgive our pronunciations. This area gave Paris its artistic reputation. The cafe that we chose for food has a very, very long line in front of it. Wow, okay, so the line is divided into two different sections because it is that long. So the food in here must be really good. We are at Bouillon and we are going to have lunch and I am super excited. How long have we been waiting? Not long, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. So the line actually moves pretty fast. We just ordered our food. I've ordered the chicken thigh in a chicken sauce. I've never had chicken sauce before, so it should be a new experience. And a bottle of red wine, because we're in Paris. Alright. Cheers, babe. Cheers. I like it. Really good. Really, really good. Do you remember what it was called? The name? Not a red wine. Red wine, okay. Vin Rouge. Our food just arrived. It smells really good, so let's have a first bite. I think the chicken sauce is like mushroom based. It has a very similar taste to mushroom soup. It's not a bad thing, but the chicken is so soft and you can just see the melted butter oozing onto the plate. Pretty good. Have you tried the fries? The fries, they're French, so they're good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Okay, so this is the beef bourguignon. I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure. With some pasta. The beef is extremely tender. The flavoring is so good. Honestly, this is some of the best beef I think that I've ever had. We finished our meals and it was absolutely delicious. We've had such a good time that we ended up ordering another bottle of wine that we have finished. This is a really, really cool French bistro. It is a must visit. The food, the wine, the atmosphere, it cannot get more Parisian than this. After our fantastic lunch at Bouillon, we are now making our way to the famous Moulin Rouge. So one of the main sites to see in Montmartre is the Moulin Rouge and it's a burlesque show that happens every night. It was immortalized in the movie Moulin Rouge. And I just remember the uh, song Voulez-vous coucher avec moi. Can you sing it? Can you do the Christina part? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool seeing this and I think tickets are freely available online and they cost up to 100 euro. I really like this area. I feel like it's a lot calmer. It's more of an artsy kind of vibe and uh, there's lots of cafes everywhere, lots of shops. We are now making our way from Moulin Rouge to the Wall of Love. What is the Wall of Love, you might be asking yourself. I didn't know either, but it sounded pretty cool, so we thought we should go check it out. I think it's a wall that has I love you written in a bunch of different languages. So the Wall of Love was exactly what I thought it was. It has I love you in multiple different languages. How many of those languages can you read? Just English and Spanish. What's it in Spanish? The area of Montmartre is absolutely spectacular. It just has a very relaxed feel to it. The sun is now setting. It's a cool autumn day. And now we're heading towards Sacre Cœur, which is the church. We were going to go to the church, but... No, we're still going. We're still going to the church. Yeah. However, this little corner spot just felt too Parisian to miss. So I was like, Holly, let's stop here. Let's get a glass of wine and just watch the world go by. I think it's a good idea. I like your idea. It, it really is cool because they've got like cafes dotted all around the junction. Everyone sitting on these two table seats is pretty French. There's nothing like just sitting on a cafe corner in Montmartre enjoying some red wine on a fantastic day. It's a cold word for getting pissed up drunk on a street corner. Mm -hmm. It's just because we're in Paris doesn't make it more sophisticated. <laughs> Chloe just keeps fighting every dog that walks by as well. She thinks like this is her corner and she knocked over her water bowl acting very crazy. She's getting it. Come on, my mate. Chloe said hurry up. 
holding her back. You're so slow. I can't really talk because I'm out of breath. Even though I pretended like it wasn't hard to walk up, <laughs> I'm dying. Chloe though, not tired at all. We are sitting on the steps of Sacre Coeur overlooking all of Paris. You get some of the best views from here. It is definitely worth the hike up. I'm not gonna lie, I was super out of breath. The views from up here are absolutely stunning. The sun is setting, but we still have not discovered the Pièce de la Résistance of this area, Montmartre, and that is the church behind us, Sacré Cœur. All right, we're gonna make our way up to the top of the church. We're not entirely sure about the rules of entering the church. Holly is outside with Chloe. I'm just gonna go inside and see what it's all about. I gotta say, after exploring the church, I want to preface by stating that it was beautiful and gorgeous, but I just felt like it was very understated. The best thing about the Sacre Coeur Church and even the Montmartre is watching the sunset while listening to live music. Can't get much better than this. Thank you so much for watching our Montmartre vlog. I think we're just gonna watch the rest of the sunset and uh, just sip some beer. <laughs>